Hi, I'm Callum, and this is how my brother's death inspired me to help others. Liam was 10 years old when he was diagnosed with cancer. One day, he was a perfectly well, happy young boy, my older brother. And then the next day, he was in a hospital bed. Uh, he had to go for different checkups, um, loads of surgeries. Uh, he started intense courses of chemotherapy, but he didn't want to just sit in his hospital bed and cry and be upset. Liam wanted to go out there and actually help other people. So when he was about 11, 11 and a half years old, he decided that he wanted to swim a mile. Two thirds of his leg muscle had been removed uh, due to cancer treatment. So for him, it was like climbing up Mount Everest. He didn't want to just stop there. He decided that he wanted to do something more. He wanted to help more people. Uh, and essentially, he went on to raise hundreds of thousands of pounds. Liam became a huge star. Uh, he, he went on to win the Pride of Britain, um, a Diana Award, Britain's Kindest Kid, all of these different awards, I think really kind of exemplified how incredible he was. It was the 30th of June, 2009, at about 2.30 in the afternoon. Some nurses came downstairs and I knew that that would be Liam's last moments. I went upstairs and I, I kissed him goodbye, really. I was 12 years old at the time and he was just 14. And that moment, I made him two promises. And those promises were to live a great life and to try and help other people. Since taking on Liam's legacy and trying to fundraise, we've gone on to raise thousands and thousands of pounds. I went on to take a bicycle uh, from Land's End to John O'Groats. Actually, it was John O'Groats to Land's End when I was about 13 years old. I then decided to cycle 17,000 miles around the world when I was about 18. To me, it's not about the money. There's so many things that the charity has done and so many people that it's helped uh, that I think it's so much more important to see the amazing impact that Liam's legacy and the foundation has had on the lives of so many amazing families. When Liam died, I didn't want to speak to anyone. But then when I became ready to speak about it a few years on, the waiting list to speak to someone who could actually help me was over three months long. Siblings are forgotten mourners. So I noticed there was this need, a need for an informal support group. And I got speaking to different young people whose brothers and sisters had died. I decided that we should set up a website called Sibling Support. One of the toughest questions that I'm asked, even to this day, is do you have any brothers or sisters? Because I do have a brother, but my brother has died. So how do I answer that? Do I, do I make people feel really upset for me by telling them that? Or do I ignore that Liam is my brother? Um, and this website kind of answers questions like that. I think Liam would be proud of everything that has been achieved. And I think Liam would be quite humble about it though as well, because at the end of the day, I would not have done any of this if it wasn't for Liam. Liam is my biggest inspiration.